Good morning. My name's Haley. if you haven't stumbled upon one of these videos before. Today I'm just gonna be going to the beach and wasn't gonna vlog anything, but you know, that's just how life goes. So I think we're gonna vlog a little. Um, I don't know how exciting today's gonna be, but I have a whole day, so you know. I feel like every time I vlog, my kitchen's a mess. <laughs> This is my little beach bag that I'm gonna be bringing. It says, let's get lost. It uh, was a birthday gift a while ago. And what is it? My favorite part is it says, lucky brand. And these are so cute. So it's just my camera thing. I probably won't bring this camera just because of the sand. Um, so some things that I'm bringing that are just like the essentials. Hairbrush, sunscreen, I have two. I think this one's 70 and I don't know what the sun one is, 50? Yeah, 50. Um, then I just have some face wipes because I hate the feeling of like sand and sunscreen on my face after when we're driving home and also my eyes get really irritated like after the beach. And then this little bag is from Victoria's Secret it's like a neoprene one so you can keep your bathing suit in it and then I just have like undergarments in there to change. This is my towel and then this is just my bag that I've been using since my boyfriend and I went to uh, Vermont. We both got Cotopaxi bags, I think that's how you pronounce it. But the cool thing about these is that they're all made out of, um, I want to say dead stock, like all material, like recycled material. And none of them are the same color. Here, his is over here, I'll show you. So like his is black with like the teal. This one was really cool. If he didn't buy this one, I was going to buy this one. Um, but I like the one I got uh, like as my first choice, but this was my second. So yeah, see how like, I don't know, just everything's different. Like none of them were the same, which I think is cool. Where'd it go, Cleo? God, there's an ant in the house. That's probably not like the cleanliest thing that I can show you, but I literally live on the water, so like, what are you gonna do? She's over here like cooing and... <laughs> Where is it? It like stresses her out, I swear. Oh, I went out to dinner last night, so I'm like... I don't know, struggling. So, I don't know, my hair needs to be washed. Um, this is my outfit of the day. It's not really like that exciting. It's just like a little straight uh, t-shirt dress from BDG. It has like a little pocket right there and then the sides are just cut out and that's my bathing suit. So I'm just gonna make some warm lemon water and a juice to bring and maybe like an iced coffee, depending on how many things I wanna carry. And then I'm just waiting for Emily to pick me up. Actually, so I had bought one from uh, Aritzia. It's like a TNA hat. I think I have it in another video and it has like the TNA logo right here. It literally pretty much looks the same. Um, this one I just like, I don't know. I Obviously like I'm not gonna wear my grandma's hat some places. I'm not gonna wear like my Aritzia hat some places. So plus like this one has like belt loops. I don't know, it's a vibe. So we're gonna wear this.
So, yesterday when I said it was Saturday, I lied. It was Friday. But that's fine, because that just means today's Saturday. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of gloomy outside. So, as you can tell by my face, I just woke up. Um, I need to do something about this situation. Um, this is... Oh, okay, wait, I didn't update from yesterday. <laughs> So after we um, went to the beach, we stayed for like three hours, but it was so cold and like Emily and I will usually stay like a long time. So that was like a short trip for us, but it was really windy and the water was freezing, which is fine because I went in it once anyways, but it just like wasn't the best beach day. Like at the end, we were both just like hunkered down under towels. <laughs> um, so it was windy and cold. So we ended up leaving. And we went to the um, like the shopping plaza outlets, whatever you want to call it, on the way home. We stopped in Calvin Klein, and this was one of the things that I got. Um, it just says Calvin, and then it's like tie dye. Obviously, <laughs> I got it in a size medium, so that it would be oversized. So this is really comfy. It's really thin too, so I'm not like sweating to death. So anyways, um, well, I got something at the Black Dog, too, which I'm just gonna show quick. Oh, I also got, like, a bra at <laughs> Gavin Klein, but, like, that's not that exciting. But also kind of exciting because their stuff is so reasonably priced. So this is a men's medium. No, it's just the tag. It's not the bug. She, like, ran over here. Um, it just has the Black Dog on the front, and it says, like, I think 1917 on the back. No, 1971, 1917, what? That would be so long ago. Um, so yeah, I just picked up this oversized tie-dye shirt, which I really like. Okay, I'm just gonna like hang like this and talk for a sec. So, uh-oh, my thing's flashing, so that means my camera's gonna die probably. And now I don't look blue. Amazing. So basically what the dealio is, is I have no food in my fridge. <laughs> um, I have stuff to make juice, which I've been doing every morning, which is great. But I'm going to try and go to Trader Joe's. So as I was saying before I ran out of space on my card. <laughs> oh, that's my alarm. Oh, well, I'm awake, so that's fine. Wow, why is the lighting like so weird today? Hello? Hello? Okay, and now my watch is beeping. This is just going great. So basically, I'm going to Trader Joe's, but it's too early, um, because they're doing 8 to 9 is for seniors, and then at 9, um, everyone else can go in. I'm gonna try and get there for 9, even though that, like, stresses me out, like, watching the line form, like, <laughs> no. Like, I don't want to, like, try and beat anyone to get in there, I just want to get in there and, like, buy my snacks and leave. So, I, I should make a list, actually. So, yeah, that's what is going on. I'm just gonna pick up some stuff um, and drink my water and then we're gonna go to Trader Joe's for nine. And I'm gonna get stuff to make like open face bagel sandwiches, I guess. Like I wanna do um, like half a bagel and then I have vegan cream cheese and then maybe like avocado and I wanna get smoked salmon and like red onion and dill. That sounds so good. Uh, I'm sure that face was really cute, but I'm really excited. So I literally was like, I'm not getting that much stuff. <laughs> and I feel like this just like happens every time you go into a store with that mentality, that with that mentality, you do the opposite. But like, also I feel like I don't panic when I'm in Trader Joe's. I just like, I don't like going there because of the line and the one near me is so small, but like everything's so affordable that it doesn't really make sense for like me to shop anywhere else. Like I'll go to Whole Foods and pick up some stuff, but like everything's like a dollar at Trader Joe's. So I was taking everything out and like this is all just like the dry goods, except for like there's a couple fridge items, but like I don't even think I can go through all of this. This I'm excited about because uh, I haven't seen this before. They just have like the green coconut one that I've tried and I didn't really like it. It was okay. Um, but I was like, oh, maybe I'll try it again and see if I like it. And they had this one, so we're gonna try that today. Yeah, this is just like... Oh my god. Also, these, um, what are these? Plantain chips are the best. The jerk style ones are great, but like these ones are good for dip too. Also, this is really cute. I love elbows. Um, so this is all just like my dry good stuff. Um, 
some other new things. Well, let's start with this. So, first of all, these two colors together are really cute. Um, but this RX bar is chocolate raspberry. I haven't seen that flavor yet, so I wanted to try that. And then the other thing I bought that I don't usually buy is capers. Are capers? Are capers. Um, which I didn't know. They're actually a flower bud. Capers are flower buds, which are harvested prickly. Yeah, so didn't know that, but excited to have them. So I have to put all this stuff away, and then I'm going to get the produce out. Okay, so this is the second round of stuff. <laughs> I look insane. Okay, but to be fair, I feel like I have to empty this. That's Cleo's little shelf. This is all like dry goods and like chips and stuff. Protein powder, bars, pancake, nuts, breakfast items. Pasta and like lentils and things kind of has a good little like collection going. And then I was out of beans essentially. So like, and that's all like extra stuff that goes to my jars, like baking stuff. So like this is now like stocked. <laughs> I'm just like justifying this. But like I bulk buy, so like this will probably realistically last me like two and a half weeks. Minus like the produce might get like ucky, but I eat that first, and then like other stuff is canned and like frozen. So this is my avocado that I have to put in the fridge, um, for later, that I had from before. So I just got cucumbers. I've been making cucumber celery juice, so I'm gonna be doing that today. Um, dill for my bagels. This I just filled. It's so pretty to me with like the greens and the purples. I might have to like take a pick. But it's just lemon, limes, red onion, everything else that you can see with your eyeballs. Um, I want to start eating more red peppers just because they're really high in vitamin C and like now's the time. So another like tip that I have is that Trader Joe's is like the cheapest by far for like the best peppers I've seen. Like I think this is one nineteen, and these are 99 cents and everywhere else I go peppers are like four dollars right now I don't know if that's like a Massachusetts thing or like peppers are just like going extinct and I don't know it's like bananas berries for like yogurt in the morning this I cannot help it organic creamy cashew fiesta dip so good it's uh vegan it's mainly just made with like potatoes and cashews I'm pretty sure and then this Dill pickle hummus is either gonna slap or it's gonna be disgusting, I don't know. But like, I don't like normal hummus, it's boring, so I got this one. Then I just have asparagus that I'm gonna grill tonight. Uh, mushrooms, this thing of cherry tomatoes is massive. And it was $2, I mean, what the heck? Then I just have some romaine, carrots for like a little slaw I'm gonna make stuff. This is all gonna go in wraps and whatever. And then that's just a thing of seltzer water. So yeah, now I gotta put this away. Also, you. Clue's being a lunatic because I think she just thinks that she sees bugs when there's no bugs. There's no bugs. gonna do a little like fridge overview <laughs> since I did the pantry one uh, yeah so this is my fridge I don't really keep anything on the top I kind of just reserve that for like Cleo and leftovers and like my boyfriend keeps his stuff up there 
Um, if I'm gonna eat something, like today I'm gonna make like a bagel with some of this stuff, I'm just leaving it up here and then this is my wrap bread. This doesn't really fit anywhere else. <laughs> this is bacon, a lot of bacon. Um, not mine. And then leftover eggs. The new eggs I just bought. I use um, these drawers. This one's usually like for dips and stuff, but I have my chocolate and my chocolate chips in the back because it gets so hot in my apartment that it melts. This one just has yogurt in it. Um, over here I have fruit. So I just have a peach and some blueberries that I picked last week that are still fine and good because they're organic and all of that just so it'll last a while. This is like my main veggie bin, I find. I well, I was using these and I just like don't open them that often. Like I don't know if it's cause they're on the ground or like I'm just lazy, like I don't know what it is. So I use this for like my main produce now. Produce, produce, <laughs> words. Um, over here I'll typically keep like leftovers and stuff I'm gonna use. So like this is literally a piece of a red pepper and some leftover mushroom and onions that I'm going to eat today. And then my tomatoes are back there and all my lettuce and stuff. So that's kind of the sitch in here. I have to fill the Brita. This is some leftover stuff, um, like leftover capers and garlic. And then I have my butter. These are all my condiments. Um, honestly, this is the worst barbecue sauce ever. Do not buy this, I'm sorry, Primal Kitchen, but like, what were you thinking with this? It is not good. I've literally been mixing it with like my organic Trader Joe's barbecue sauce because I can't eat it plain. Sorry. Then I just have my oat milk iced coffee that I forgot that I bought, so we'll have that today. This is all like my jarred condiment stuff, like all those pickles, salsa stuff. And then down there it's just like extra drinks. So yeah. I would show my freezer, but it's not like, ugh, it's such a mess. I don't know how to organize a freezer. So like, I don't know, bread, ice, ice packs my boyfriend stuff kind of, and then like fruit and veggies kind of, and then there's gyoza in there. <laughs> um, so yeah. Usually this is like really poorly drawn and I'm kind of embarrassed by like the lack of an aesthetic that this has. <laughs> but this is my little like crappy whiteboard that I just kind of keep on the fridge and I got a sticker on it and it's messed up and I need to throw it away and get a new one but I'll typically write at the top like things that I can make this week, so like stuff. Okay, so that's the second time that my card has run out of space this morning and I literally don't think I've recorded anything substantial. So like, I'll, like I said, I was just gonna have like wraps and then I have stuff for curry, so I have that on here. If that's like a backup option, stir fry is always a backup option because uh, I just have uh, veggies in the freezer and rice, burrito bowls, grilled veggies I'm gonna make tonight slaw, <laughs> let me just get that in there, is like, I'm just gonna make like a bowl of like cut up veggies, like cucumber, tomato, red onion, um, green onion, other stuff. <laughs> and I just kind of like that to scoop that onto like greens or I'll just like eat some in a bowl if I'm still hungry. Um, and then bagel, <laughs> it's just gonna be my little salmon bagel thing that I'm gonna make later. I was just taking pictures of this, um, but paused the air conditioner so that I could show it because I haven't really made anything like this specifically. So I just toasted a uh, Dave's Killer Bread Bagel and did a little tiny bit of vegan butter on it and then a little bit of cream cheese and there's avocado with black pepper, um, smoked salmon, red onion, dill, and capers. So this looks like a lot. I will uh, report back once it has been consumed. My hair looks crazy. Um, it's a bit later now. I kind of realized that I don't remember the last thing I did. Um, I just kind of like did laundry, hung out. I think I watched an episode of Dr. Phil. I ate my bagel. It was really good. Oh, that's the last thing I did. I made a bagel. It was great. Um, yeah, I'll definitely be making that again, but I'm still like full from it. That was kind of a lot of food, uh, for me at least. So yeah, I'm just kind of putting stuff away from our trip that I haven't put away yet and like my laundry and stuff that I have to do. Um, I have some towels in the dryer, but other than that, I might go for a walk or I'm just gonna do like um, a Melissa Wood health workout, something quick and easy. And then I think that's it. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. I do have something that I wanna film tomorrow, so I'm gonna do that. But other than that, that's it for this video. So thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.